I'm Babblefish 5. When you're car camping with a group, there's usually nothing better than a large communal meal at dinner. And one of the ways I always like to cook when I'm out with a group is with a Dutch oven. And today, I'd like to show you my recipe for a Dutch oven chili. Ingredients list. Two pounds of ground beef, one pound of mild pork sausage, one can of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, seven ounce, one can a medium chunky salsa, one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes and green chilies, one bag of tortilla chips, one regular ale beer, not any of the dark stuff, not any of the light beer, but just a regular blonde ale and between two and three tablespoons of your own homemade chili powder. I'd like to talk to you really briefly about chili powder and chili kits. This is a homemade chili powder. And I would advise everybody to go out and actually make their own chili powder. There are plenty of YouTube videos out there on how to do this. Most of the kits and chili powders that you're going to get in the store have got a lot of fillers and preservatives in them. They put the fillers in so they don't have to put real ingredients in them or much of the real ingredients. So that's how they keep their cost down. And the preservers are just there are just there to make sure that uh, that uh, your chili powders and your kits last a little bit longer on the shelf. I would make my own. When you're going to a store and getting chili ingredients. Just walk past the walk past the kit aisle. That's the best thing you can do to make your chili a whole lot better. Those kits don't bring a whole lot of flavor to it. To it. You need to do is to sear your your meat and you're going to need to do it in batches the one thing that you don't want to do is actually uh, stew the meat so you need to make sure that you have your your meat in and uh, have enough room in between it so the uh, the liquid and uh, that comes out of the, the meat will have enough time to evaporate the the goal is to brown the meat and not to actually uh, to stew the meat so we'll have to do this in probably three batches, uh, probably one pound per batch. Now your chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, they bring a lot of flavor and they bring a lot, they can bring a lot of heat to your chili. So be cautious with these things. When you first start using these, just take it easy and uh, do a few batches before uh, you can figure out how much you're going to put in for your chili. This is probably the easiest and the quickest way to add a whole lot of heat to your chili. You want to take two of these adobo peppers and about one tablespoon of the adobo sauce and you want to mash them up really good. These need to be cut up and mashed up really good. And you can get these to where they're almost kind of like a paste. Another thing to do is once you have them all mashed up is to actually add a little bit of the beer in. Not too much and then just kind of stir this up. This also helps get a lot of the adobo sauce out and so you don't end up leaving a lot of the adobo sauce actually in your bowl. Okay, our last batch is out. So now we have to start getting all the ingredients and put it together and let the chili simmer for a while. You start out by your beer. Then your chilies with adobo. You want to dump all your wet ingredients in first. Take the uh, diced tomatoes with green chilies, make sure those are drained, put those all in, your salsa in, then you want to do two tablespoons of your homemade chili powder, not your store-bought chili powder. Then you want to get three really good handfuls of your chips, you want to try to get them in the Dutch oven versus in the Dutch oven coals. Now these, these all act as a thickener for your chili. You want to give everything, all the liquid in here, kind of a good stir, get it all nice and mixed. And then you want to add your meat into it. Get everything all stirred up gently. You don't throw everything out like I'm doing. And then, you want to take your lid and carefully put it on. Make sure your coals are kind of evenly distributed. 
and then you wait. This will take about 20 minutes for the chili to cook. <laughs> Dutch oven camp chili. Can't think of any better way to cook a good honest pot of chili. As far as chili goes, I'm a bit of a purist. I don't believe in throwing beans or anything on that in, in a chili. Um, to me, beans are something that should be off to the side. But that's just me. And the beauty about this is you can make chili any way you want. So with some good honest recipes, a homemade kit, homemade chili powder, you can have awesome chili. You will love your chili, your chili will love you, your Dutch oven will love you cooking, love you for cooking the chili in it, and your friends will be really impressed. If you found this video helpful, please give me a positive rating. Your comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the trail.